All right, so I just uploaded a four tick gem mining video with the Celastra Spark and I got a reply on the comment thread by Austin Moon 2626. Big shout out. He actually offered some very great advice, which uh, I'll just read it to you. He says, why not exploit the Dragon Pickaxe three tick rate when mining corners? Couldn't this improve even more by using the four tick cycle to skip a rock and run into the corners and then three tick the second rock? I can make a video of one lap if the above doesn't make sense. It did make sense and I replied, I understand and you may be correct on that. The benefit of using the bark and moving is that you get two rolls at the gem. I'm not sure the exact success rate of gem mining in 99, but it may be, it may definitely be worth doing. Thanks for this info. I'll do some trials of my own and post another video. Good stuff. So very smart. This guy's a brainiac and um, it's just something I just hadn't even really considered when using the Slasher Spark. But um, he, does, he then replies and says, I use the same route, but I run straight into the corners, blah, blah, blah. And so he, he gives, you know, what he would do. And um, I'm making an improved video now is what I said, but now it's been 42 minutes, but uh. <laughs> Basically, I as I was doing some trials around here, I figured I would actually improve it even more because what I realized is there are some rocks that you really shouldn't be doing anymore because if you can if now let me just state, I don't know the exact success rate of just mining directly on the rock adjacent. I know using a rune pick or higher, you do get that chance of three ticking it but you're not getting the double roll. So I believe the success rate of gem rocks is in like the 80% range, maybe up to 90%. I doubt it's any higher. Um, <laughs> Bilbo Baca, shout out, shout out. Um, but I realized if it is efficient, which according to my trials, it does look efficient to do that, then you're going to want to get rid of as many four tick options as possible throughout the route. And the default route that I've been using already um, is you're already mining more gems that can uh, be put in your inventory, which is why I have to drop a bunch of opals. So what I decided to do was actually get rid of a few rocks. So now the route is from here directly to this rock and this rock, then to this rock and this rock. Then you go all the way, you shoot over here, then you hit this rock and then you do here to here, hit this rock, here to here, get this double right here, go here, and then immediately go over here, hit these two doubles, these two doubles, hit this one. Then you're gonna ignore these because these are both four ticks. You're gonna run here, over here, and then you're gonna hit this double, this double, and finish with this rock, which is 27 total rocks. Now you only have 24 inventory spots, but I'm, going to just assume that three of the gems that you mine on average, <laughs> at least three, will be put in the gem bag. Now, if you don't have a gem bag, you could, um, it, and you just absolutely do not want to drop any at all, you could just ignore this final rock right here or ignore a different rock. There might be a, a rock that's more efficient to ignore. Um, but uh, then what you would do is just not bring a gem bag and uh, put all your slasher spark in like a looting bag or just use all your slasher spark. Because then at that point, you really do have 26 open inventory spots, which would make it so you never need to drop any gems. So anyway, um, really cool. And I'm going to now do a full hour of this and we'll see how it goes. We'll see what the XP rate uh, ends up being. I hope it's I hope it's upwards of almost 100K. That's what my expectation is, but we will find out. So let's do it. Also, be sure to check out the final section of this video. I do have more commentary talking about the method and further improvements such as Ring of Endurance and Stamina and other stuff. So enjoy the music and I will catch you at the end. Come on baby, dry your eyes, wipe your tears, never like to see you cry, won't you please forgive me, give me, give me.
many times I looked and saw your face Nothing could change the way I feel No one else could ever take your place I'm only human, flesh and blood I made Human, born to make mistakes
Final thoughts on this method. So I was running out of run energy by the end. I decided to use the celestial ring that's charged in order to get a passive or an invisible boost, I should say, on mining, just because I do want to have as big of a success rate as possible when just uh, hitting adjacent rocks. So it might be worth just to use the ring of endurance. And to be honest, there is a few places like... I'm I'm saying this for like those clue hunters out there. You could probably bring purple sweets um alongside this last spark because there are a few places where you could use the purple sweet to attack, like for example, this rock right here. So you hit these two and then you do a purple sweet right into here, which would make this a three tick rock. But on top of that, you would also uh restore 10 run energy. So 
every maybe like every two laps or something eat a purple sweet right here and you could just put the purple sweet right there like that would be something you could really do um just to make this last a little bit longer if you're uh, totally against using purple sweets you could just bring a stamina pot down here as well as one stamina pot would for sure last you an entire hour um and you could also just replace one of your prospectors with like a graceful or something because i believe what's really weighing you down is the gems i'm pretty sure Oh, wait, maybe not. Okay, the gems actually don't weigh you down at all. So it really is just your armor. So I believe the Ring of Endurance would solve this issue. I'm using a Rune Pickaxe right now simply because I don't want to uh, get the two-tick mine. Even though it would be more efficient, it is like actually unbearable to react <laughs> in time because you're constantly trying to predict the one in six uh roll that's a two tick mine which is just it, it sucks when you miss it because you'll try for it and then you'll be a tick late and then you fuck up the cycle and it's just really tilting so i choose to just use the rune pick but there so there's some options you can use the purple sweets you can use a stam you can use a ring of endurance that would definitely help but um i really do like this method and i believe i was getting just about 100k xp an hour and uh, that's probably the max rate you could get over the course of an hour. I did stop just simply due to run energy, but I think you guys got the idea of how that method works. So really cool. Um, yeah, again, big shout out to Austin Moon, 2626, you're a legend. Thank you for uh, just providing some really great insight and it, like simply improving this method. So thank you guys for all watching. Be sure to drop a like, be sure to subscribe, and I will catch you in the next guide. Peace.